extreme weather conditions again making headlines from coast to coast. That includes scorching temperatures in the southwest and devastating flash floods here in the east. CBS 2's Jared Hill is covering the story for us. Jared? Yeah, Cindy and Mary, I want to start on the East Coast where we are expecting an update a little later on this morning uh, on the search for two children, babies, really, who were swept away in flash flooding in Pennsylvania. At least five people were killed yesterday in those storms. The torrential rains caused flooding across the Northeast, really, Sunday. Meanwhile, in the South and the West, this ongoing heat wave is a big concern here. Parts of Death Valley, California, in fact, could hit 123 degrees today. Phoenix, Arizona is gearing up for its 18th straight day above 110 with this ridiculously hot temperatures likely for days to come. Doctors are reminding people to watch out for hot surfaces like the pavement for their pets, also playgrounds for kids. Temperatures between 140 and 160, which would be uh, just a couple of seconds will cause deep injuries to, to a small hand. Something important to consider there. A scientist say that this June was the hottest June on record, and 2023 as a whole could easily be the hottest year for the planet since they started keeping track back in the middle of the 19th century. And guys, I also just wanted to acknowledge Elise's passing. Uh, my thoughts are with you all as well as with her family. Really, really sad day. Yeah, so special to all of us, Jared Hill. Jared, thank you so much for that. We really, really appreciate it. Of course.